This is the HBCU Update. I'm Ricky King. Colts defensive back and former Howard standout Antoine Bethea and other pros were at the Hampton Roads All-Star Football Camp at Christopher Newport University. Events like these give Antoine a chance to do some work at his hometown. Oh, most definitely, you know, um, and that's why, I, you know, I like to come back and just show my face, just let them know that it's an opportunity here. Um, you know, I'm coming from the same area, same neighborhood, same school, same peninsula district, and, um, you know, it's, it's an opportunity. If you, as long as you put your best foot forward, work hard, you know, listen to the people around you, the growing-ups around you, man, it, it's, it's a possibility you can do whatever you want to do. UFL season will be kicking off in August, and some familiar faces will be on the Virginia Destroyers. Former NSU quarterback Dennis Brown and defensive back Antoine Barnes made the roster for the team. For Dennis, it's a chance to keep playing the game he loves. The atmosphere should, should be just let everything go, just just have fun, just put down um, whatever you got to put down out here and then let them make the decision. Um, that's what I came out here today, and I just wanted to go ahead and just uh, give it my best. Hampton University athletic director has a new job. Lonzo Hardy Jr. has accepted a position at Arkansas Pine Bluff. Hardy has been an athletic director since 2007. Under his guidance, the Pirates have captured 11 MEAC titles, including four Mary McLeod Bethune trophies awarded to the top women's program in the MEAC. I'm Ricky King, and that's the HBCU Update.